Hi everyone, my name is Ayaz Odin and I'm the founder of the StaffingCircle.com and I welcome you to my video on IT recruiters versus non-IT recruiters. In this video, I'm going to discuss the differences between these two types of recruiters as well as the pros and cons of each. I'll also talk about the difference between contract and full-time recruiting. Let's talk about IT recruiters. IT recruiters are responsible for filling IT-related positions such as software engineers, data scientists, and network administrators. They need to have a deep understanding of IT industry and various technologies that are used. They also need to be able to source and screen candidates, conduct interviews, and negotiate salaries. The pros of being an IT recruiter include high earning potential, job security, opportunity to work with cutting edge technologies, chance to make a real impact on businesses. The cons of being IT recruiter include long hours, high pressure environment, constant change in the IT industry. Let's now discuss non-IT recruiters. Non-IT recruiters are responsible for filling position in all other industries such as marketing, sales, healthcare, pharma, industry, logistics, and accounting. They don't need to have as deep understanding of the specific industry as an IT recruiter, but they still need to be able to source and screen candidates, conduct interviews, and negotiate salaries. The pros of being a non-IT recruiter include more flexible hours, less pressure, more opportunities to work with people from different backgrounds. The cons of being a non-IT recruiter include lower earning potential, less job security, less opportunity to work with cutting edge technologies. Let's now discuss what is the commission structure for a full-time permanent hire recruiter or a contract staffing recruiter. Contract recruiters typically earn a recurring commission on each contract placement, while full-time recruiters typically earn a one-time commission on each placement. This means that contract recruiters have the potential to earn more money over time as they can continue to earn commission on the same contract placement as long as the contract is in effect. The amount of commission for contract recruiting can vary depending upon the industry, the specific position and the recruiter's experience. However, it is not uncommon for contract recruiters to earn commission between 50 cents to $1.5 an hour on contract staffing jobs hourly. The amount of the commission for full-time recruiting is typically lower than the amount of the commission for contract recruiting. This is because full-time recruiters are not responsible for placing many candidates. However, full-time recruiters typically have more job security and benefits than contract recruiters. Ultimately, the best type of recruiting for you will depend on your personal preferences and career goals. If you are looking to earn a high income and are willing to take on more risks, then contract recruiting may be a good option for you. However, if you are looking for more job security and benefits, then full-time recruiting may be a better choice for you. Let's discuss some benefits to consider when choosing between contract and full-time recruiting. Commission Structure As mentioned earlier, contract recruiters typically earn a recruiting commission on each contract placement. While full-time recruiters typically earn a one-time commission on each permanent placement. Flexibility. Contract recruiters typically have more flexibility than full-time recruiters. This is because they are not required to work set hours or days. Career growth. Full-time recruiters typically have more opportunities for career growth than contract recruiters. This is because they are typically employed by staffing agencies or company, which have more resources and opportunities for advancement. Conclusion. So there you have it. These are the key differences between IT recruiters and a non-IT recruiter, as well as the pros and cons of each. Uh, let's now discuss information technology service lines. All the people that a tech recruiters develop. IT recruiters recruit application developers, application testers, quality assurance people, they hire recruit business intelligence data warehousing people. They hire people from ERP software such as SAP, Tally, PeopleSoft, JD AdWords. They hire business process management consultants, 
or they hire IT infrastructure consultants, cloud mobility professionals, legacy modernization professionals, or product engineering professionals. Let's discuss the non-IT side of recruiting, healthcare staffing. Healthcare staffing usually involves staffing and recruiting of healthcare professionals such as nurses, doctors, physicians, therapists, technologies, pharma pharmacy technicians, and etc. There are various departments to the healthcare sector, administrative healthcare department, clinical healthcare department, technical and support department. Pharma staffing. The pharma staffing departments are research and development, clinical trials, regulatory affairs, sales and marketing, manufacturing and quality assurance. As a non-IT recruiter, you must be knowing that most of the time you get requirements for biostatistician, regulatory affairs, compliance associate, manufacturing engineer, quality engineer, inspector, analyst, and we might have also got scientist positions that we want to recruit within a pharmaceutical company. Let's discuss industrial staffing. Industrial staffing includes sourcing, recruiting, assembly technicians, CNC machine operator, electricians, engineers, fabricators, forklift operators, general labor, industrial mechanic, machine operator, maintenance technician, material handler, packaging technician, quality control inspector, robotics technician, shipping and receiving club. Logistics and transportation staffing for non-IT recruiter includes logistics coordinator, logistics analyst, transportation management, warehouse manager, truck driver, warehouse worker, shipping and receiving club, dispatcher, import and export club, customer service representative. Conclusion. So there you have it. These are the key differences between IT recruiters and non-IT recruiters, as well as pros and cons of each, including the various staffing services in IT, healthcare, pharma, logistics. Ultimately, now it depends on you to choose who do you want to be. Do you want to be an IT recruiter or a non-IT recruiter? It's your personal preference and career goal. If you have liked the video, please comment and share. Thank you.